really, really hard right now, especially for my mom. While the search continues for Aaron Lowe's killer, his family is now in Utah this evening making arrangements to take Aaron home. Fox 13's Eliana Sheriff spoke one-on-one -on -one with Aaron's older sister, who has forgiveness in her heart. Why would you do that? To, to a family, you took away a brother, an uncle, a son. You took away a good person. Davetta Jones, Aaron's older sister, is heartbroken and confused as to why someone shot and killed her brother. Two days later, the case is still open and her brother's murderer is still out there. I trust Utah Police Department and, and I trust that they're doing their job and I'm hoping that if anybody knows anything that they will come forward. Devetta says Aaron didn't have a mean bone in his body, and he wasn't a violent kid. That's why it's hard for her to wrap her mind around the violence Sunday morning. You upset the world. You didn't just upset a family. You upset a world. And we just ask that you turn yourself in. She says making it to Utah was Aaron's dream, and she says her brother didn't come here to die. This was, this was his dream. He wanted to play football. He wanted to go to the NFL. He just wanted to basically make his mom, his family proud. And Utah, Utah was like the best thing that happened to him. Now she is asking for justice. You know, we make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. I forgive you, but I want justice for my brother. I also asked Aaron's sister if she thinks the number 22 should be retired, and she answered without hesitation. I think it should for Ty and Aaron. They should retire. Devetta says if you knew Aaron, you loved him, and she didn't know just how much he was loved until he was killed. These last couple of days, you can tell how much he was loved because people come out of nowhere and tell us how much they love him, how much you know people that we've never met. Eliana Sheriff, Fox 13 News, Utah. Aaron's family says they are flying him home to Texas tomorrow. Salt Lake police don't have a suspect identified at this point, but are working several leads. They say the 20-year-old female who was shot at the party remains in critical but stable condition.